Hello friends, welcome to my channel Digitech Keys. Uh, today I will tell you how to solve this kind of questions. Uh, although it looks a complex op-amp circuit, but uh, it will be easy to solve such kind of circuit. So before starting, please like and subscribe my channel. So here you can see uh, too many resistance are there and across this resistance different different voltages are connected. So first we will apply the nodal analysis. You can also calculate a potential at uh, this terminal. Let's call it V1. This is the terminal V1. Okay, so we are going to calculate the V1 terminal potential or voltage. So plus 4 volt, minus 3 volt, minus uh, plus 6 volt and minus 1 volt all are connected through 1 kilo ohm resistance. Okay, so if you want to do it, you can, if you know the summing, uh, summing op-amp uh, formula, so summer of the op-amp formula, then you can directly calculate the V1. Okay, so to avoid any possibility of error, let's do with nodal analysis. Okay, so I'm considering all the currents are uh, outgoing, all the resistance means at this node, I'm going to apply uh, nodal analysis at node V1. Okay, so I'm considering all the currents are outgoing. So just draw, uh, I have written this formula. So V1 minus V0, sorry, V1 minus this 4 volt potential divided by 1K. So V1 minus 4 volt, since I am considering all the currents are outgoing. So, okay, so potential at this terminal V1 minus 4 divided by 1K. Since this whole branch will have the same potential, so V1 minus minus you see minus minus 3 why I have taken minus because all the currents I am considering this one that outgoing so minus 3 divided by 1 k then for next branch v1 minus 6 divided by 1 k again v1 minus minus 1 uh, 1 k this is equals to uh, 0 okay so when we will solve this one so we will get v1 is equals to 6 volt so you got it v1 is equals to 6 volt okay so at this this is your v1 Okay, so this is your 6 volt potential. You got it here. Now, due to virtual ground, okay, due to virtual ground between these two, this 6 volt potential will appear here. Okay, so at this point also, 6 volt means at this point, the potential at this point will also be 6 volt. Okay, now we need to calculate this V0. We want to calculate this V0. So, better to apply nodal analysis at V0 node. As we already know, no current will flow in this branch in ideal condition. No current is flowing, flowing in this branch. So, there is only two currents, one in this branch and one in this branch. So, as I in my previous uh, videos also I told you, uh, I am taking all uh, to the best way to solve the op question is the nodal analysis. So, I am again taking the nodal analysis at node V0 and I am again considering the current is outgoing outside from the node for both the branches okay so let's so applying nodal analysis at node v naught so as i told you uh, both the currents are outgoing okay so this is the outgoing current this one so v naught minus 6 divided by 8.2k because this this node is having 6 volt potential okay similar way v naught minus 0 this is a ground potential so minus 0 divided by 10k okay v naught minus 0 divided by 10k so when you solve this type of question uh, means this equation so v naught divided by 8.2 plus v naught divided by 10k uh, we have taken other side 6 by 8.2k okay we have separated it 6 by 8.2k when you solve it you will this you will get v naught is equals to 3.297 volt okay so this will be your final answer this is your final answer v naught we why we didn't consider this branch okay because here it is already connected to the ground and we already know the potential at this one okay so we don't want to consider this one because we know the potential at this branch okay so directly applying v naught means v naught here you can directly get the means we you directly applying the nodal analysis at this branch you can directly get the output so v naught is equals to 3.297 so i hope you are able to understand 
सो इफ़ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच